The Starglow study is an international phase three randomised clinical trial looking at patients who are ineligible for stem cell transplant with relapsed diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. This patient group represents an enormous unmet clinical need. Essentially standards of care are poor in their efficacy and when we counsel patients in this situation usually it's with palliative intent. The Starglow study randomised patients to receive a standard of care, rituximab with gemcitabine and oxaliplatin for eight cycles or to receive glofitimab with gemcitabine and oxaliplatin. Glofitimab is a new bispecific antibody that invokes T cell responses to destroy lymphoma. And at a median follow-up of 20 months in the updated analysis, the primary endpoint was met with a statistically and significantly clinically impressive benefit. Indeed, the overall survival at two years was 25 months in the glofitimab arm versus just 12 months in the rituximab gemox arm a highly impressive hazard ratio of 0.62, meaning 38% reduction in death if you got the glofitimab gemox. As expected with bispecific antibodies, there is a little bit of a safety um, signal around it, but all in all, the adverse event profile was what would be expected from the combination of the individual drugs on their own. The main concern we have with bispecific antibodies is cytokine release syndrome and only one grade three uh, or grade three events were only seen with the first dose. They were manageable and reversible. What this means is we now have a treatment option for patients who have no treatment options previously. Uh, we see now that we have durable remissions in patients and indeed overall survival out beyond two years, likely indicating there will be a, a significant proportion of patients cured. Previously, without cellular therapies, this was an incurable group of patients. This represents the most significant advancement in DLBCL in some time.